hello. Here I have is the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I will be using this to show you how to use the S Note application that's on this device by using the S Pen that's located on the bottom. Before we start the S Note app, I want to go over the S Pen and some of the basics of it. My device, when I do pull my S Pen out, has a buddy page that automatically shows up on the screen. If you want to change the setting, you can go ahead and hit the setting button on the top right and deselect the S Pen page for the page buddy. What this will do is let you pull your pen out and not have the buddy page appear on the screen. If your phone don't already upload the page buddy by itself when you pull your S Pen out, there are two ways you can fix that setting. Either go to app and go to settings or you can press this left button here and hit setting. Go to under your device display and the page buddy go ahead and select that. Swipe your off button on the top right to the right for it to turn on and select the S Pen page square on the right and that should do it to activate your page buddy to pop up when you take your S Pen out. And there you go. With the S Pen Detach, I would like to show you three features using it. The first one I would like to show you is how to copy an image to your clipboard. The second is to copy a text or phrase to your clipboard. And the third is to take a snapshot. To copy an image, you go on the internet browser and find an image you like to copy. You want to press the button on the side of the S Pen and hold it and circle the image you want to copy. Wait it for it to load and it'll pop up, meaning it's copied. Just go ahead and tap that to send it to your clipboard. Next is a text, to copy a text and highlight your text and send it to your clipboard. Let's say I want the phrase that says, I want a cute small dog. Go ahead and hold the button down on the S Pen and go across the phrase I want to highlight. If you make a mistake and add another word and you don't want to include that, you can simply move this. Highlight the words and phrase that you want and hit this copy button on the top. That would copy your text for you onto your clipboard. Next is if you want a screenshot of something. So if instead of being copying this photo, we can take a quick snapshot of it by holding the S button and tapping the screen and holding in place for a few seconds. Once you see that, you have captured the screen. You also have these tools that pop up on the top, which you can edit the screen, and then you can save the document. So that is how you can copy an image, a text, or do a screenshot. There are two ways you can navigate to your S Note application. First way is to go ahead and hit your apps and find your S Note app and press it. And you, you'll get a list of notes. You can hit the plus button to add a new note, which you can create. The second option is to just pull out your S Pen since you have the buddy page setting already. And it'll um, automatically upload your S Pen apps that you can create a note. And it'll upload a new note for you. Those are the two ways you can upload the S Note app. Here's how our S Note toolbar looks like. The first toolbar on the top left here is the view mode. And what that does is it only lets us see the document and we can't edit anything, add anything into here. You see the toolbars are missing now. So that's the view toolbar. We press it, now it says edit mode now. Now the rest of the toolbar pops up for us to be able to edit this. Um, the next toolbar here is a drawing mode. And after that's the productivity tool, text mode, eraser mode, undo, redo, the insert object, and the voice memo. So we're going to start off with using the drawing mode. If you click on that, you have a pen setting pop-up screen. Here it shows you the five variety of pen styles you can use. 
and you can also adjust the size of your pens and the color. We have a whole bunch of different colors on here. Um, one interesting thing of this pen setting that I like to use is this right here. I can have different types of pen setting with different colors and sizes and I can save them onto this device so that when I'm drawing I can click this button on, this, on my S Pen and it'll keep changing the pen style and the color style for me so I don't have to keep coming into this mode to pick my pen style. So here, to add some pen styles over here, I'm just going to do a few types of pen style with different colors. You want to hit this button here to add it there. And let's go with a pencil with gray. Let's add that one there too. So I have two different types of pen style with different color and sizes saved on here. I want to close this down. And the first one I do have is the gray one. So let's say, write that. I want to change, now I want to change my pen style and color over. I just press the S button. And it changes it for me. Now it's the bigger red style. And the next one is now going to be an eraser. And I can erase that. And next should be back to the gray. There you go. Each time I keep pressing it, it changes it for me. Eraser. So it goes back. The next toolbar here is the productivity tool. What I like about that is it can create a shape for you when you draw it out. It'll make a perfect shape for you. Triangle, circle, oval, and a square. Or a rhombus. That's what that productivity tool does for you. For the shape match. Also, there's also the handwriting to text. What that does is you can write something in your own handwriting and it'll transfer it into the nice neat text for you. For boy. So that's what the productivity tool bar does. The next toolbar, which is the text mode, what it does is you can write a text on here and it'll automatically type it into the note for you, which will make it neat for you to read. The little red hen. So that's what that toolbar is for. You can also change the different colors and font, bold, italic size, or even underline it with many different types of styles, paragraph style lists, just as if it's like a Word document. These next three toolbars on the top is erase mode and undo and redo, which basically speaks for itself. Um, the next app here is the insert object. Um, remember those pictures that we added to our clipboard and text? Here we can get them and paste it onto here. Remember the quote and phrase we wrote, I want a cute small dog, here that is, and we just paste it on there. And also the little two cute dogs, we can also paste that onto this note. Move it however we like, resize it, and also rotate it. And we can also take pictures, add our image, record a video, add a video, insert maps. All these different options that we can do for insert on here. That's the insert object toolbar. And last but not least is the voice memo. You want to press on that and then you can record yourself with a memo onto this note. And you can X that out. So with all this you can simply press save and name the note whatever you want. We'll just say note and hit OK and that would be saved into your file of notes. And from your home page, you can access your recent note by going to the list and looking for your note that you have saved on there by simply clicking on there. And it'll pop right back up and you can always edit it anytime you choose. This is a brief overview of how to use the S Note on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 using the S Pen. Thank you for watching this video.